So is Webflow starting to ignore freelancers and just eyeing the enterprise market? Let's discuss. This sentiment started to grow when Webflow started to introduce enterprise-only features like page branching, design approvals, and more CMS items in a single project. These are features that freelancers wish they also had access to and would love to offer their clients. But with enterprise pricing being very much out of reach for small businesses, coupled with lots of cries from the community asking for more quality of life updates to the designer tool, it would seem like Webflow is ignoring their original market. But let's zoom out a bit and remind ourselves what has been happening since 2023. Webflow announced that they had to make the difficult decision to stop progress on logic and memberships so they can put more focus and effort on the core tool, the designer tool. So earlier this morning, we did announce to our private beta testers for both logic and memberships that we are pausing new development on both logic and memberships in exchange of supporting these features and further strengthening their integrations into our core platform. When I was working there, I was nervous about how the community would react to this announcement. Usually big changes like this don't go over so well and I was ready for some negativity. But the exact opposite happened. The community posted positive responses on the subreddit and Facebook about the move. The community also started to notice that the shipping of new features started to pick up pace because of this decision. Let's quickly look at the list of tiny but mighty updates that are available to everyone the team has shipped since 2023. Now let's see a list of features made just for enterprise. As you can see, it really doesn't seem like they are focusing on just the enterprise market. Instead, I believe that they are learning from their past decade and are evolving. One thing that I've mentioned in my past WebflowConf 2024 keynote recap video is that I'm a fan of the way that they're pricing Webflow Analyze and Optimize. They could have easily said that these two big features are just for enterprise site plans or workspaces, but instead made them add-ons that anyone could purchase. Plus, the business CMS plan is more flexible now with a new price point that covers between 10 to 20,000 CMS items. This means that even if you're a small agency or a freelancer, you can still offer more to your clients and provide immense value beyond the site's design and development. They're giving more flexible steps for us to grow towards enterprise clients. I honestly hope that they do the same add-on pricing for page branching. So is Webflow just for enterprise? No. They're just growing, which is natural for any software that wants to stay competitive in the very tough software industry. I just think that after the keynote, some people got some sticker shock from the Webflow Optimize and Analyze pricing. But again, if we zoom out a bit, Webflow as a tool is providing value and helping us all grow. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and I'll read them. And until next video, thanks for watching. And as always, thanks for making the web beautiful together. See ya.